very good day to you people my name is Mohit and uh, today I'm gonna show you how to make an automatic picture gallery guys when I say automatic it means that the picture gallery would advance from the first to the second second to the third frame automatically after a certain time period has elapsed let's see how we can do that guys uh, I'm working with Adobe flash professional CS 5.5 you could be working with the uh, version 5 but that's okay there's hardly any difference so let me start guys the first thing that I want to do is I want to create uh, a layer as uh, you can see I already have an action script 3 layer I have an AS3 layer where I'm holding the script guys this is the script it's a very short script I'll explain the script to you later on but the first thing that I want to do is I want to create yet another layer I'll call it uh, pictures okay and then I'll uh, import the pictures guys so I'm gonna say file import import to stage and um, guys these are the three pictures pick one pick two and pick three that I wish to import I'm gonna select the first picture okay and click on import the moment I do that uh, flash alerts me that this file appears to be a part of a sequence of images do you want to import all of the images in the sequence which is perfectly all right I would want to import pick one two and three all together on different frames and that is what is going to happen now also notice guys the moment I say yes all the pictures will get centrally aligned horizontally and vertically as well the moment I said yes guys you see all the three pictures have come in on all the three different frames that's wonderful that's majestic very very good so guys uh, let me um <coughs> first test the movie then I'll explain the action script to you uh, so this is the first picture the second picture and the third picture all uh, coming uh, one after the other after two seconds that's wonderful okay let me explain the action script to you let me go inside the actions uh, panel uh, the first thing uh, that happened here was in line number four I put a stop function the reason for that is I wouldn't want my playhead to run from the first first to the second second to the third frame uh, and not read this script unless and until I put uh, the stop uh, parent parent semicolon here it will not go through uh, the timer function okay I have a timer function here I've created um, a timer here my timer of the type timer is equal to new timer now uh, this is how you instantiate a timer um, the first value is the number of uh, milliseconds after which the timer should fire off and this is the repeat count guys I would want my timer to repeat three times and then come to a halt or a stop after uh, two seconds it will fire off fire off just three times it will come to a stop uh, the next thing in line number eight uh, what I've done is I've attached an event listener to my timer so I'm, I'm training or uh, telling or um, taming my timer to listen to 2000 milliseconds and once it uh, understands when once my timer understands that uh, 2000 milliseconds or two seconds have elapsed it will fire off a function called timer handler and uh, the function timer handler guys uh, has two lines of action script the first line is telling it to go to line and uh, you know go to the next frame and uh, stop whenever you say next frame it means go to the next frame and stop there it implies and stop which is not written guys and if you notice line number 13 now this is important guys it says there's an if conditional there which says if my timer dot current count what is current count now now guys notice this number is is the repeat count number of times the function uh, the timer should fire off and the very first cycle or when two seconds elapse that is that is current count one but the second time the f the timer uh, fires off that's current count two and the third time it fires off that's current count three so once the timer has fired off three times and that's the maximum that will fire off because the repeat count is three so when uh, my timer dot current count uh, is equal to is equal to three I'm telling my timer to stop and uh, I'm also telling it to go to the first frame and play okay uh, and line number 18 says my timer dot start guys once you instantiate a timer um, 
and create the function required you also need to start the timer otherwise it will not work okay so once the current count is three which means uh, the timer has exhausted itself I'm telling the timer to start uh, stop and go to and play so go back to the home frame and play yourself once again because the moment it goes to the very first uh, frame it will start again due to line number 18 and hence I have to tell it to stop because it's going to start again otherwise if I don't tell it to stop it will start again and again and again and the script will uh, be in a frenzy it will go wrong it will not work so this is a very small script guys so guys uh, wish you all the best um, good luck to you I'll see you next time with uh, yet another uh, flash tutorial ciao bye bye